Hello and welcome to Lithos Learns. We are a fossil and mineral hobby shop located in Old Town, Arvada, Colorado. This is our new series where we will be providing fun science experiments and art projects for you to follow along with and learn more about the world around us. First up, we have a way for you to make your very own crystal geodes in just a day or two. Connor is going to take it from here. Enjoy. Hello to anyone out there watching this. I am Connor and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these super cool crystal egg geodes. Just take a look at that. A geode, for anyone who doesn't know, will look something like this and is formed when a gas bubble in molten rock cools, leaving the bubble behind and forming crystals inside of it. For this project, you're going to need Epsom salt, a large heat safe container, a paintbrush and some glue, food coloring, something to stir with, a knife or a pair of scissors, and of course, eggs. To prepare your egg, start by poking a hole in the top, the bottom, and then blowing out the contents. From here, use scissors to cut your egg in half. If you're using a hard boiled egg, start by using a knife to pre-crack some of the edges. Then use a knife to saw the egg in half. Make sure to empty the contents and peel out the membrane. Next, take your eggshell half, your paintbrush, and your glue, and spread glue all around the inside of the eggshell. Next, use a spoonful of your Epsom salt to coat the inside of the eggshell. What we're adding now are known as seed crystals, giving our future crystals a base to grow off of. Now that you're working with hot water, use safety goggles if you can. To prepare your solution, measure out one and a half cups of Epsom salt, two cups of boiling hot water, and five drops of food coloring. Next, dissolve the Epsom salts in the water. If the salt is not all dissolving, you can microwave the solution for 30 seconds or a minute to get it to heat up. Add the food coloring last. Keep in mind, this will not color the crystals, only the eggs. Once the solution is prepared, let it cool for about a half hour. Once both the eggs and the solution are prepared, place the eggshells on top of the solution and push them down into the liquid. Once the eggs are in the solution, set it in your fridge to cool for about 24 hours. As we take a moment for our crystals to grow, I'm going to explain what's going on here. The solubility of water goes on a curve like this. As water gets hotter, it can dissolve more of a solid. As water gets colder, it can dissolve less of a solid. What we're doing here is taking advantage of this solubility curve. We're heating up the solution to add a lot of Epsom salt, then cooling the solution down so it wants to get rid of the Epsom salt, thus leaving behind crystals. 
Here are the final crystals in the solution. I am going to go work on getting them out. I found that using a fork to loosen up the crystals around the eggs and then just grabbing them with your hands worked best to get them out. In addition to the eggs, I also had some fun bonus crystals for them that I'm going to take out as well. When you're done extracting your crystals, this solution is safe to pour down the drain. Here's what the crystals formed at the end. We got two beautiful crystal geodes, as well as several crystal plates. Thank you, Connor. I hope you guys are excited to make your very own crystal geodes. We do sell kits for this experiment on our website listed below, and please remember to like and follow for more videos every week. Thank you for watching.